Gaiety Theatre, New York City. The Gaiety Theatre was a Broadway theatre at 1547 Broadway in New York City from 1909 until 1982, when it was torn down. The office building that housed the theatre, the Gaiety Building, has been called the Black Tin Pan Alley for the number of African-American songwriters who rented office space there. It was designed by Hertz and Talent and owned by George M. Cohan. The theater introduced revolutionary concepts of a sunken orchestra. The previous configuration had the orchestra on the same level as the seats in front of the stage and also not having pillars obstructing sight lines for the bill. History The theater opened on September 4, 1909 with The Fortune Hunter. Its biggest hit during its early years was Lightning, which played for 1291, performances starting August 16, 1918. <laughs> After 1933, the theater became a Minsky's burlesque, one of the top venues in the circuit. It featured performances by Encario and Gypsy Rosalie, as well as comedy acts such as Abbott and Costello. Victoria, Victoria, Victoria. In 1943, Mayor Fiorello Lagardia cracked down on burlesque, and the theater became the Victoria, which initially featured vaudeville performances, including Step and Fetch It. It was transformed into a movie theater in September 1943. In 1944, United Artists leased the theater for movies, and in 1949, Edward Durrell Stone designed a renovation of the interior, which was expanded to 1050 seats. A sign on the roof of the theater went across the neighboring Astor Theater, and was said to be the largest in the world. While originally advertising movies, it would later be best remembered as an advertisement for Budweiser. Embassy 5 In 1980, the theater was renamed the Embassy 5, as the fifth theater owned by the embassy chain in the Times Square area. In 1982, it was one of five theaters torn down to make way for the New York Marriott Marquis Hotel. Black Tin Pan Alley. The office building above the Gaiety was popular among black composers who were not allowed in the Brill Building. Among them were Harry Pace, W. C. Handy, Clarence Williams, musician Perry Bradford, Burt Williams, and Will Votary. Andy Razeff would pick up his mail there. <laughs>